Hi, I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story. I'm here with Tom Lumbeck. Hey Lou, good to see you again. Good to see Tom again. Uh, if you want to see some cool cars, Tom's one of the guys, especially if you like Hemis, and I do. So I'm going to get right behind the camera as I usually do. And Tom, um, let me move the camera stand out of the way. Uh, maybe the greatest muscle car on the planet. I mean, as far as, you know, Hemis during the 60s, here it is. What, what, do, you, what do you bring in today? This is a 1969 uh, Dodge Daytona Charger with a 426 Hemi. And it's got the four speed. And it's a four speed, which makes it just ultra, ultra rare. <laughs> okay. Come on alongside me, Tom. So come right over here. And what can you say about that? That just gets pretty good right from there. Yeah. There's Hi. only, I, I think, two or three black Hemi Daytonas in existence. So. This car is a one of one with the black and the white interior, white wing, and the four speed. Only that, one of its kind. Only one of its kind. <clears throat> let, me, let me try to back up far enough so I can get it all in. So people can just kind of take that in. Yeah, that's one of the problems filming it. These cars are so long. You know, I actually think I got it. Let me just steady the camera. There you go. That can. Uh, you know, <clears throat> in sincerity, you didn't see many of these cars in 69. I mean, they kind of, people kind of knew what they were when they were buying them. Probably similar to what's happening with the Ford GT coming out. Right. Only a few people are gonna get the chance to have them. And, uh, you know, how do you, and I mean, you, you've got several Hemis in your collection. Where does this rank in relation? And you also have another Daytona uh, that if people want to check Daytona, my car story with Lou, they can see that one too in green. So where does this one rank? I mean, is this top of the ladder? This could be one of the top uh, two or three uh, Hemi uh, cars uh, Chrysler has ever produced. You know, there's B-body fans, which the Charger falls into, and then there's E-bodies. And the rarest are the E-body convertibles, the uh, 1971 Hemi Cuda convertibles. But among a lot of the Mopar, uh, Faithful, uh, 69 Hemi Daytona is the ultimate uh, muscle car and the ultimate Hemi car that was ever produced by uh, Chrysler. So if you take a black uh, four-speed with white interior, uh, they a lot of people say that trumps a Hemi convertible. So even though a Hemi convertible sold for, you know, three and a half million, and recently a couple have sold for two million plus, uh, this could be the ultimate uh, Hemi car ever made. And people will be able to voice their opinions and we look forward to those. Everybody has a thought on it. Some people will agree, some people will disagree, but our job is to just to show you some of the greatest cars out there. And certainly you couldn't argue the point that this is probably one of them and hey, this looks great. Can you do me one favor, Tom? Can you just like step on the brake just so we can see what the tail lights look like when this comes on? <clears throat> That looks good. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Tom. Let's uh, let's take a look at the interior while we got it open. The white interior. Yeah, you know, I'm just wondering when someone was originally ordering this. I mean, this is pretty exciting to see now. What did they feel like then? You know, having this come in. You know. Well, actually the original owner is still alive and the car was ordered new in South Carolina. And the gentleman was only 17 years old when the car came in oh, and his wow. dad ordered it for him. And- uh, Wait I, a minute, his dad ordered His dad ordered the car for him, he was 17. And uh, I have a picture of the car with him standing next to it when he was 17 years old. Wow. And uh, you know, I can't imagine what would that be like to be that age. and have a I, car like I mean, this show I, I, up. I'm 17 when I walked in and saw it. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I, tur I turned right. back to 17 when I saw this car. Right. And the clock's still going around. And, uh, he raced the car. It was ordered with a 410 Dana and the four speed, and he raced uh, guys in town for years. And that's the original eight track? Yeah. Wow. Ordered just like this. Wow. The reverse light there. Here. So I actually have the warranty booklet with his name on it. I tried to, you know, get it 
under uh, some steam and heat and try to get it to come apart. But you can see the, you know, ordering dealership and uh, his name on it. So that's a pretty neat piece of uh, memorabilia. Wow. So here's the, uh, here's what the driver sees. And of course, looking out your back window, it's actually pretty clear. You can see the wing, but it clearly doesn't get in your way. All right, All right let's, uh, let's open the hood if we can. And the difference between the Daytona and the Superbird clearly is, um, you know. Status. Well, the, the status, <laughs> no. status and, and, you know, one was based off a Charger and the other one was based off a Roadrunner. Right, off the Roadrunner. So, you know, the Charger Daytona just, I think, has a lot sexier appeal. Uh, you know, Richard Petty actually left Chrysler for a year to run with Ford when they didn't build uh, a wing car for him. So that's why the 70 Superbird came into existence because uh, in 69 they had the wing car and it was a lot faster the track and Richard Petty wanted one and they figured, you know, they didn't want to do it over at the Plymouth side. What kind of carburation do you have here? Is this two, two fours? Yeah, two uh, Carter six and a quarters. Can we just pull it off real quick so we could show that? Okay. We'll get that on. They're quick wing nuts, so it shouldn't be too, too bad. But that's that's an awful large, it's air an awful cleaner. large engine, an awful large air cleaner, right? Oh yeah, there you, you go. That's underneath. Good. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. I have to pull. If I had another pair of hands, I could pull. No, the no, other. that's fine. All right, yeah. let's let's put that back on top. I'm trying to get the record on the needle with two. Uh, there's one. All right, we're we're successful. And uh, we're gonna start it up for you. While Tom's putting that back together, I wanna just show you the, the nose, the all important edge to that nose to give them aero efficiency back in that time frame versus a flat nose. You got the lights in there. Original miles. The original miles. Unbelievable. All right, let's shut the hood. Tom, stand right next to her. Tom, what can I say? Absolutely love the muscle cars. This is right there at the top of the heap. Thanks so much for being on my car store. You're welcome, Luke.